Over 500 children gathered in Pierce, South Dakota, January 27th for the third annual Aviation Day, an event organized to provide the budding aviators with a glimpse into the lives of various pilots from around the state, including B-1 operators from the 28th Bomb Wing. We're going to put together gliders, wingless airplanes, we've got flight simulators, and it's to give these kids an adventure that they're going to remember forever. Plant that seed of being in the sky, and what's better is having our current Air Force personnel, who are truly heroes, be part of that activity. Six Ellsworth Airmen came out to give the children a glimpse into what it means to be an Air Force pilot. The team did everything from letting the children try on some of their gear and teaching them about the B-1 to getting in on the fun themselves. It's something a lot of these kids have never seen before. I think many of them today have never seen anyone in the military at all. So that's why it's important for us to get out here all the way from Rap City over to Pierre uh, to just give them some experience and uh, you know, some stories from what we've seen to, uh, to get them excited about the Air Force and their country. The children learned a variety of aeronautical information, including how to build surface-to-air missiles from paper and straws, hoop airplanes, and gliders, as well as a basic understanding of the science behind what they had created. Um, it has, so the air goes over it and goes on top of it, forcing lift, but it's a glider, so it'll just go down at the ground and it'll catch the wind and it'll go down, like any normal glider would. From gliders to drones, the children were exposed to the many different avenues to becoming an aviator. And after putting on a flight suit for the first time ever, quite possibly becoming an airman. Reporting from Pierce, South Dakota, I'm Senior Airman Jordan Thompson.